Hi. Today I'm doing an unboxing of Cab King Cab Machine here in this box. I'm going to install it on this table here with a water bucket uh, with a tap and a hose coming down to the wheels. And I'll get started on this. This is a next step in my artistic endeavors. Cutting the stones, uh, cabbing them, making pieces, cabochon pieces for people out of various materials. Here's a box with accessories. Put this up here. It's pretty well packaged. Lots of styrofoam. There's styrofoam on the ends. Two double wall boxes. Uh oh. There they go. Uh, you can see the styrofoam packaging. Heavy duty. Very well designed to fit. Plastic to protect the electronics and the metal. Inside the box is the instructions manual. Put that up here. I'm going to just remove as much of the cardboard and plastics before I move it to the table. Here we have the light. It's got some good wrapping all around. Nicely wrapped. Protected, there's bubble wrap all around the top of this. Nice, nice flexible piece like that. Okay, it's connected to a base. I'm just going to leave the plastic on the base. I don't see any reason to remove it unless it becomes a problem in the future. And uh, there we have Cab King Cabochon Machine at this point set on our table. Gonna locate this wire. That's the wire for the light. This is the uh, wire for the motor. There we go. Sorry about that. It's a plug going into a reset. It's got its own uh, uh, circuit breaker. Just going to readjust the camera. Check the battery. All's good. Right. to check this out like that. Run the cable, the wire through the back.
corner. Okay, so apparently comes with these three wheels and only one on this side. There's not two more wheels here. And we'll see about that. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to open up the accessories box and probably the other two wheels are in there. Yeah, I'm a little bit goofy sometimes. Here we have some hose. Two, looks like two hoses. We have a number 80 grinding wheel. Right? A number 220 grinding wheel. Nice pair of goggles. Comes with goggles. That's great. Pair of goggles. Diamond paste. Small thing of paste. Uh, pipe cleaner. Here's a disc pad. Must fit on the end. Yes, it does. There's an end, a disc pad on the end. So that can have other things attached to it. This might be a, a polishing pad already. It feels like canvas. It just feels like canvas. We got that pad. Looks like it goes right on that end. A couple of collars. Have splash guards. Right, they fit in. To the front of the machine. Okay, lay that down. Looks like another splash guard. Side panels probably go in here. I'll take a look at that a few minutes. Figure out that configuration. Got a pump, water pump, circulate water. One ten AC, sixty hertz, thirty watts, two point five, right? Got some wrenches. Nice. Another end plate. This has a an interesting texture. Let's go on the end like that, or just to come off on it on this end when this is not. Hand rests. Probably go in here somewhere, something. Be checking that out. Waterproof apron. I already have one, thank you. Stone trays, two little plastic trays for putting stones in. That's great. Nice, nice. This is a great setup. I'm gonna have fun putting this together. Back to you in a few, thank you. So here we are, I'm going to install the two uh, metal wheels, the grinding wheels. It comes with two 
wrenches, 32 millimeter, uh, to loosen the sprocket. So I have the nuts like this and catch it like so. Loosen it just enough. And then we can do it by hand. And that comes off. Careful not to drop it. The two collars come off and this one stays. We're going to do it so that the uh, uh, waffling, the sticking out, goes towards the center, towards the motor. I marked each wheel for what it is, number 80 and a 220 with a gold marker I have from another project, my uh, colloidal sol solutions. So I'm just going to, oh, it's got a, something inside, a little red thing, I'm going to pop out, pop that little red guy out of the middle, slide that one on, the, one of the collars, same thing with this, I'll pop that out, and then the waffling goes toward the inside they come with a little sticker on it that I just peeled off that tells you that information so then there's the other collar that doesn't look right those two wheels are so tight no I don't like that configuration they look too close doesn't look like that in the photos so there's other collars also. I'm going to try the short collar in here. See how close that gets to the resin wheel, right? That's a nice space. And now I'm going to try the long collar, the thicker collar in that location. Again, put the waffling for the inside. Yeah, that's a much better fit. And then, in the accessories bag, is two other collars, a wide collar and a thin collar. So now I'm going to put the thin collar right on the end of there. That fits perfectly. Lines everything up. Mm, this is a, right, there we go. Backward thread. Get the wrench back on the shaft. There it is. Tighten this by hand as much as I can. Okay. So get the other wrench on here. Tighten it up. Turn it again. Tighten it up. It hit a nice little spot where it stopped. Now it has good placement. There's a gap in between there. Oh, is it supposed to be spinny like that? Huh. So it seems the wheels are freewheeling? No, this doesn't make sense. These wheels are nice and tight. Why would they be freewheeling? Alright, I'll have to go over this again. Okay, so this is the configuration I get when I use what's in the book, what's recommended with two three-quarter inch and one one inch in this location. So what I did, and that, what, that gets it tight, but again, they're right up against each other, which is not good. So what I did is I took another one inch. I so saw I'm using two one inch spacers, which is working well. The other way it was spinning. The wheels were spinning on the shaft and not getting a good clutch. And a half inch spacer on the end. And that gets everything nice and tight. And it gets a nice little space enough. It's not a too much. I could go with a three-quarter. I'm going to do that, yes. 
So the final configuration was a three quarter inch spacer, a one inch spacer, and a three quarter inch spacer. And it gets all the cylinders nice and tight. So there's that step. And then we have these couple of other parts. Excuse me, we have a hand rest, which goes right here. And then two splash guards, one like this, and like this. Something to put your hands on while you're uh, working. Here it is. Alright, so I'm going to install the side panel, move this little water port up, get it down. It kind of bends a little bit to fit into place, but that's a little bit of water protection to prevent splashing. So here it is with the uh, pieces in place. I went with the configuration of a three quarter inch and a one inch and a three quarter inch. And that gets everything nice and tight. I pushed the body back for a little bit more visual clarity. So next I'm going to go to the other side and install uh, one of these pads. So up inside we have these little ports that are turnable and adjustable so that you can aim them exactly where you want them to be able to hit the wheels. Now, these wheels are a slightly different configuration. I couldn't get them to get the configuration that it shows in the book, but this will work. There's plenty of ports and plenty of water. So I'll be hooking that up next. So what I have here is uh, one bucket that's for the drain and the two white tubes are coming from the back of the drain pan here, the splash pan. I have those guys set up. I have a fan on the back so when I'm using it, it'll blow on the motor and help keep it cooler, give it a longer lifespan. Next thing I'm about to do is I'm going to set up the pump with the hose. So now, this is just a compression fitting. This hose slips into there. Just press down on that and that will become nice and snug. And then the pump will fit into this bucket here of fresh clean water. Oops, hard to see. Whoop, this bucket here of fresh clean water. And uh, then I will plug it in when the time is right. So now, here we have the uh, Cab King Cabochon machine uh, completely set up. I had the water going a little bit and have these two wheels getting uh, wet in a good way. I have a small fan back here to blow on the motor. Added an electrical uh, outlet there, surge protector. I have the pump in a nice clean bucket, clean water to supply and a, a cabochon preparing to be shipped. So here we have the Cab King all set up and ready to go. I already did a little bit just to test it out and make sure everything's good but I'll do a demonstration at this time. I'm wearing my face shield. This is the stone that I did in the dot pot video.
be moving the stern, you want to always be moving the stern on the wheel, especially on the end part of the process, the final tapings and polishing, surfacing. The Cabochon Ted King 6 inch Cabochon machine. Thank you. So, here we have my uh, setup and unboxing and uh, first presentation of the Cab King Cabochon machine. So far so good. Happy, happy. Thank you very much. Uh, look for a uh, review video in approximately six months after I've used it and used it and given it a good thorough uh, working. Thank you.